This is the Rebound Coastal Band, brought to you by Conviva. Visit us at convivacarecenters.com. Millions of people who are working right now or hoping to return to work soon really or will need child care. Now, the industry is a ringing the alarm warning most child care providers are on the brink of closing permanently. Alicia Nieves shows us what effects the closures could have on our economy and what the industry says it needs to do to prevent them. Thousands of daycares across the country are struggling to stay open. The fixed costs in these small businesses, it's so high. Sarah Kyle has owned and run a small daycare in New York City for nine years. In March, her enrollment dropped by almost 80 percent, while her cost to stay open went up substantially. It's like 500 to a thousand dollars per child, extra per year, like for the PPE, for the cleaning products, for all the things that go into keep keeping it as safe and the best practices. After operating in the red for six months, most providers, including Kyle, are now coming to terms with the reality that staying open may not be a possibility much longer. I represent, you know, uh, women of color, I represent single mothers, and we're working on the front lines in this pandemic, and we have the most to lose and the least amount of resources available to us to support us. So I think that there are moments when it's really scary. A recent survey done by NACI, the National Association for the Education of Young Children, shows without some government aid, roughly 50% of child care providers throughout the country could close permanently by the end of fall. And that such a substantial loss of child care could force more people out of the workforce, disproportionately low-income workers and women. It has this massive impact on the economics of communities. It has an impact on the economic economics of society, on women having the same opportunities that men do. Um, it has a ripple effect that is really dramatic. Rayanne Alvin is with NACI, which after the survey is calling on Congress to act and allocate $50 billion for the industry in the next stimulus package. We have really strong Democratic support. We have really strong Republican support. Um, so right now, uh, the holdup in Congress, I don't think is childcare, but young children and our field will suffer if they don't get a stimulus package passed between now and the election. I'm Alicia Nieves reporting.